nostalgia, the sentimental longing or wistful affection for a period in the past. But why? Why do people feel nostalgia? Let's solve the better question. Why do people feel emotions? According to psychology expert, emotions exist to help us take action, to help us survive, to strike and avoid danger, to make decisions, and to help understand others. But then how does nostalgia achieve any of those? Nostalgia is simply a longing to be in a time that has passed you. How does it help us to survive? or understand others. It's simply a regret, a dislike for the current time. What might that remind you of? Depression, anxiety, regret, all negative emotions. So then what does this specific category of emotions achieve? According to mentalhealthwellbeing.co.uk, negative emotions can help you pay attention to detail, give you motivation to seek a mediator, encourages problem solving, change negative behavior, or motivate you to work harder. All of these belonging to their respective emotions, but a soldier doesn't help you notice details because you're too busy thinking of the past and it doesn't motivate you. It only makes you feel hopeless, that life is too hard now, that you wish you could go back to simpler times. And a soldier doesn't benefit people in any way, does it? Well, feeling hopeless, I decided to Google it. Maybe Google could give me an answer, and it did. It showed me a result from the American Psychological Association, or APA for short. The result stated that nostalgia, by motivating us to remember the past in our own life, helps to unite us to that authentic self and remind us of who we have been and then compare that to who we feel we are today. That gives us a sense of who we want to be down the road in the future. But then why do we feel resentment when we feel nostalgic? If nostalgia serves to remind us of who we were, and to help us see how we have improved ourselves, then why is it that instead of being proud of who we are, we wish we were who we were in a past time? But why? It's 8.52 here in New York. I'm Brian Gumble. We understand that there has been a plane crash on the uh, southern tip of Manhattan. You're looking at the uh, World Trade Center. We understand that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center. We don't Maybe it's because life has failed us, with over 800 people dying daily in the US alone, and numerous terrorist attacks, abortions being banned, corona, social media controlling our lives, and countless other tragedies, all of which slowly making life meaningless, slowly turning the past into our only hope. 